Hey guys, so you were looking for a C in your GCSE science. Here are some tips for you. So I cannot guarantee that you are definitely going to get a C, but here are a few bits of advice that will help us get a little bit closer to that C. Now what I suggest you do is you go over to my website and download my free revision guide. In there, there are loads and loads of quick fire questions. You can also find the quick fire questions in the AQA playlist. Now these are pretty much the same across exam boards. So if you're doing like Edexcel, you can still have a really, really good go at this. It's just not gonna be in quite the same order. And answer all of those questions quick fire questions. So for AQA, there are basically 100 questions for each exam. And I know that's a lot of questions, but I've made the videos for you as well. So I've told you the answers. So you don't have to think too much about this. And then just learn all the answers. And you will then have the basic facts for the majority of the stuff that's gonna come up into the exams. What you can do with all those questions and answers is then turn them into flashcards. And yeah, I realise this is going to be about 600 flashcards, but it's not too mentally taxing. You can sit there doing it while watching Holy Oaks. So that's going to cover all of our basic facts. Now for physics, we need to learn our units. Oh, my year 11s at this point are rolling their eyes and going, oh god, not this again, miss. Your units are so important in physics. Your formula sheet will mean nothing to you if you do not use your units. Um, you, you just have to learn your units. Now these come up in the quick fire questions, going back to what I just said, but they're so, 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 so important. It's just ridiculous how important your units are in physics. And then once you've done all of that, all of the quick fire questions, all of the flashcards, and learnt all your units, just go back and do the past papers. They will get boring, they will get repetitive. And the reason they'll get boring and repetitive is because the examiners ask the same questions over and over and over again. And the questions don't change that much from year to year. So if you see like a full mark question that comes up, make a flashcard of it. Question on one side, answer on the other side. Chances are if it comes up again, the mark scheme is going to be exactly the same. And if you know what the mark scheme is, then we're gonna be looking at a really, really nice grade. Okay guys, so if you're aiming for a C, those are kind of like the, the minimum things that you should be doing. It's going to take you a bit of time, it is quite a lot of work there, but hopefully I provided you with nearly everything that you need so it's not going to be too taxing. All you need to do, this is the hard part, is just learn everything. So the quick fire questions are gonna be a fantastic place for you to start. Flashcards, units, and then past papers. Good luck, guys. Um, if you want to try and bump this up to an A or an A star, I'm gonna do a second video giving you advice on how to do that. Good luck.